so this is the book or the exam that I'm gonna cover on the next uh, set of vid videos uh, I don't have a PDF so I'll be using the actual hard copy paper for these videos so I got this vid uh, this book on eBay really cheap so if you wanna have your own copy go on eBay and you'll find it really affordable uh, the book starts really easy and as you can see uh, there's a lot of basic stuff but for sure we need to know about the status codes uh, that we get back from the browser from the HTTP so we're gonna I'm gonna cover this on this video the status codes and what they all mean they are pretty much self uh, it's just right here the description of what's happening but I'll use the uh, Firebird I'm sorry Firebug and Firefox to see this, this code and you can use any other web uh, developer tool to do this so we're gonna start with the status codes so now we're gonna try to test the status codes we're not gonna be able to do every status code but just the basic ones so if you go to any website right now I have what I'm using what you can use too it's download uh, Fiddler web deb debugger and this tool will allow you to see what's going on and the results as you can see uh, it's a good tool you can sort by the status code in this case it's 200 so every time we click on a website uh, this tool is going to tell us what's the status and if you scroll down you see that there's other ones like 301 uh, 302 and it has more uh, details on it so this is a good way to debug uh, items or websites or your pages you can see the results we got three, uh, 204 a uh, 302 again so it depends what you do it actually will say what's happening now if you're trying to post uh, data we'll see we'll try to let's see maybe I can go back here maybe let's try and fix this and see what status is actually didn't even go at it that's good at least they're checking on the client side but i would suggest that if you want to see more status code and the protocol that they're using uh, go ahead and download fiddler it will tell you more details about it and you can drill down um, if you look at the inspectors there's different types for example the raw it just tells you what you're sending and in the book it talks about this HTTP 1.1 and then there's a status code here 200 and it basically means that it's okay nothing wrong with that and let me see if we go to another one so 200 basically means that everything's fine on that website and 204 no content pretty nice tool and then move permanently so I guess we're getting redirected somewhere else and you can just keep checking the status so found <clears throat> so this is what the book talks about on the first pages so take a look at it there's it's not complicated it's just codes added but I, w I wanted to cover this just this step because if some of you don't know how to find those status codes make sure you have Fiddler uh, installed on your computer and um, I'm using Firefox I think uh, other browsers might have issue with it some don't depending on the OS you're using but that's not the way of checking the headers uh, and, and other details using these two. Uh, stay tuned for the next video.